hi there it's me ashik once again before you so in this video i'm just going to show you how you can create this type of uh, dynamic things okay how you can create this one okay so for this one you have to do what you have to just install elementor pro and you need to uh, take uh, some custom fields i'm using z engine okay i have just taken my custom field and this is my uh, gallery images i have added six gallery images now i will i'm just going to uh, design the uh, design this gallery okay so first of all i need to just click on here and uh, this is the perfect one okay let's keep take this one and I'm just going to make it this one and just duplicate this one control D that will be duplicated now in the parent one I will just make it row horizontal and the medium a uh, gaps gap is 10 is perfect okay now just duplicate the one okay and this one for the first container i will just make it padding zero okay understand now i am just coming here then right gallery and here we have basic gallery and the second gallery we are just taking gallery not basic gallery understand we are just taking just gallery not basic gallery and here we will make it dynamic tags z engine gallery and select the gallery okay my gallery will be showing in here and we can see four column which will just make it one and spacing will be zero great and here link will be none and medium will be full okay understand this is showing and the overlay that will be removed I don't want the overlay right now okay then we need to do what we need to simply go to advanced tag okay then scroll down go to custom CSS and we have Elementor Pro you know what and then we need to paste a code in here let's paste the code this is the code okay and here we need to do what i want to show the first image we need to just simply come in here and select make it one okay then go to the style and the image we can see the border width border radius and edc it's totally up to you now if you want just the right side will be border radius zero then it's totally up to you or you can uh, give five pixel border radius for everything now you can just copy this one and just paste it here paste it here as well here you are just going to paste it and also paste it here just make it the second one click on here go to advanced then scroll down go to custom css and make it two and come in here go to advanced tab scroll down custom css then make it three okay go to here go to advanced tab scroll down come in here make it four come in here Go to advance scroll down custom css that will be five okay now let's see how it looks it looks like this it look like this so i need to go to the first one go to advance and in the container we'll just come in here and we have padding zero let's give the margin top will be 10 pixel now if i just visit it again then i can see it looks 
perfect right now okay now we can add our uh, image we can add our uh, button as well so if I just take the button sorry not just button in here and just make it like uh, 20 pixel and minus 20 okay we can make it minus 40 we can make it minus 60 70 minus 60 minus 60 like minus 70 or 70 yeah then the right will be like 20 pixel it it's uh, in here right now so we can just create a pop-up and show in here okay if I just update this one and you know what it looks like this and it's perfectly okay the design is dynamic as well and we can uh, show it in a gallery and I have a Z pop-up and I have created a pop-up for this one if I just come in here and uh, write gallery property gallery and if I just update this one and if I just come in here and paste this page uh, refresh this page can you see it looks like this the image is coming automatically if I just click on here then every image is showing okay understand so I think you already love the tutorial so that's it for now thank you so much